All right, welcome back. This is part two of our fish tank. Today we're going to make our fish. And we're going to start by taking two sheets of colorful paper and we're going to glue them down in stripes in our sketchbook. So here's how we're going to do it. Take your scissors and take both colors. So I picked purple and blue. You know, I think I'm going to have to switch colors so you can see better. I think I'll use red and blue so you can see the difference a little better. And I'm going to stripe this whole sheet of paper. So I'm going to cut stripes of colors one at a time. So I just cut red and blue. And I'm going to glue put a bunch of spirals down there. I'm going to glue them to the white paper all the way across. So that's two. And if there's a little white space in between, that's okay. Or if you want to, if you have to overlap. So let's say you cut crooked like because some of you will. And it's not straight. It's okay because you can just go like this and leave a little space in between. It's going to be okay for what we're doing. So your fish might have a little white showing. It shouldn't have a lot though. Try to overlap it. So by that I mean this. I could overlap this. So instead of putting it like that, I'll go all the way until I cover that red up because you're gonna have plenty of paper. And it's okay if there are different thicknesses too. So this, these ones are a little thinner than the last ones. Once again, don't spend a lot of time putting glue on. It's going to, um, you're gonna end up putting on too much glue and we don't want, we never want too much glue. Too much glue doesn't dry fast and it's messy and it just gets all over the place all right so i'm going to keep on going i'll be right back with the rest of the assignment all right i'm all finished putting my stripes see i have some white spaces and that's okay just as long as it's not too many i'm going to turn my paper over and go on the other side so it's going to feel a little damp and then i'm going to draw a fish shape. And for this, actually, I want you to use a crayon because the pencil might be too sharp and dig into the glue. So we're going to use crayon and I want to make a tropical type fish. So tropical fish are usually bigger um, in their body. They don't have the like long fish like we'd find in Lake Michigan of a salmon or a trout. So I want to do kind of a triangle shaped fish, kind of like Dory from Finding Nemo. So I'm going to go in the middle of my paper and make a triangle that goes like this. So it's pointing this way. It's going that way. And I'm going to attach another triangle to that triangle like this. And then I'm going to make a little triangle right there. All right, I'm going to cut out this triangle and I'm going to cut on this line here. So if you want to do this so you don't get confused, we're going to cut out that shape. Okay. So I'm going to rip this out and I'm going to cut it out. So I'm actually cutting right through my stripes that I just drew. So 
If you want to save those scraps, you can. Make something cool out of them. Alright, now I have a fish shape, but it's not quite a fish yet. So I need to do a couple of things. I'm going to make an eye. So I'm going to take, I'm going to take my black crayon and I'm going to make an eye. So I want to make kind of a bigger circle. And then I'm going to put a smaller circle closer to the front of that circle. And then I'm going to take my white crayon and color white. There. And then I'm going to make a little C shape there. And then I'm going to color that part black around that C shape. Now my fish has an eye. I can give my fish a mouth. So I'm just going to draw a straight line here. And I'm going to draw one flipper fin right here. Well, just a triangle that doesn't have a top. All right, my fish is looking pretty happy now. I'm ready to put my fish in my fish tank. So I'll get my fish tank I made last time. And I'll get my fish here. And I'm going to figure out where to put my fish. So what do I want to show more? I think I'll, I want to show a little bit of everything. Let's see. Hmm. No. I think I need most of my tiki guy to show. So I'm going to put my fish. Oh. Over his head? Sure. I don't have to get it all the way in the tank, I guess, to make it look good. So I'm going to attach my fish to my fish tank. So I'll put some glue on just the bottom part of it because I don't, my fish doesn't have anything to stick to on the top. So I'm just going to stop about there. And I want him going over this way. Like that. Stick it on. All right. So there's my fish with its AB pattern, stripes, and my wax resist fish tank. I hope you had fun making your fish tanks. See you next time.